Medical school is insanely competitive. In the most recent data available from the AAMC, only about 41% of applicants were ultimately accepted to a US medical school. Osteopathic DO schools have been gaining in popularity in recent years as well, forcing less competitive applicants to turn to Caribbean medical schools and pursuing their dreams of becoming a doctor. Are Caribbean medical schools a good option? Here are the pros and cons. Dr. Jabal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. It's important to understand that the medical school you attend is not the final determinant in whether or not you'll be a good physician. I know a great deal of highly impressive physicians who trained at Caribbean medical schools and other physicians who trained in the US who are not nearly as impressive. That being said, we believe in full transparency and making educated decisions. At Med School Insiders, we're surprised how commonly Caribbean medical schools are suggested and recommended to pre-med applicants without regard for the significant drawbacks. But first, let's cover the benefits. First, Caribbean schools are less competitive and therefore you have a higher chance of acceptance. It's no secret, the main reason and biggest benefit in attending a Caribbean medical school is that it's less competitive than getting into a US allopathic medical school. The average MCAT of US matriculants in 2018 to 2019 was 505.6 and the average GPA was 3.47 and 3.71 for science and non-science respectively. The average MCAT and GPA for Caribbean medical school matriculants is much lower. For this reason, the schools have been described as second chance medical schools, offering students a chance who would otherwise not be realistic candidates for US programs. Number two, excellent climate. Location-wise, the Caribbean is not the worst place to be. You'll have warm, tropical climates to enjoy year-round without having to worry about commuting in the snow. Not all United States medical schools can say the same. Number three, rolling admissions. In order to apply to US medical schools, you must apply through AMCAS in a set time frame. Caribbean schools, on the other hand, practice a rolling admissions process, meaning you can apply throughout the year and matriculate shortly thereafter. But now, the drawbacks. First, it's challenging to match into a US residency. The NRMP regularly publishes the match data for US graduates as well as US IMGs. That's international medical graduates. In 2018, 94.3% of US medical school graduates successfully matched. In comparison, only 57.1% of US IMGs were accepted to a US residency program. That's not a comforting number. Even the best Caribbean schools only reach around 70% match rates on the higher end. Number two, a cutthroat and less supportive culture. Most Caribbean medical schools are in the for-profit business, and profit as the bottom line is a major driver in their motivation. As a result, student support systems and student well-being is not as highly prioritized compared to many US programs. In addition, you're less likely to find a collaborative atmosphere given that you're competing with one another to get a coveted US residency position. In stateside medical schools, pass-fail systems are more commonplace and the chances of going unmatched are far lower. Unsurprisingly, attrition rates are significantly higher at Caribbean medical schools. While the literature doesn't demonstrate strong evidence regarding well-being in Caribbean students versus those who are stateside, I would wager that burnout and stress levels are higher in the Caribbean. Number three, limited options in terms of specialty. As much as you may think you know what specialty you want to practice long term, you will likely change your mind, and oftentimes more than just once. For example, I was positive that I was going to be a pediatric gastroenterologist when I first entered medical school, but I ended up matching into plastic surgery. A significant limitation with attending a Caribbean medical school is that you are significantly less likely to be successful in matching into a competitive specialty. We've outlined and ranked the most competitive specialties before. Understand that if you're going for specialties like neurosurgery, plastic surgery, or orthopedic surgery, you're much less likely to be successful than if you graduate from a US allopathic medical school. Again, it's not impossible, but you'll be at a significant disadvantage. But let's say you're going for a less competitive specialty. Maybe you just want to match into a desirable residency program. Even then, you'll need to make up for the fact that you attended a Caribbean medical school by performing higher on USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK compared to if you attended a US program. Number 4. Inconsistent Quality 
There are over 60 Caribbean medical schools, but the quality at each is subject to vary. Unlike the LCME in the US, which is the accrediting body for US medical schools, the accreditation system in the Caribbean is less standardized and less robust. As a result, some schools have good results and good performance from their students, upwards of a 95% USMLE Step 1 pass rate, and a high percentage matching into US residency programs. But others have a Step 1 pass rate as low as 19%, with equally abysmal residency match rates. And number five, increased cost and debt burden. Some Caribbean medical schools have secured federal financial aid options for their students. But still, graduates are left with similar amounts of student debt, hovering around $200,000. Combined with the fact that you'll be less likely to secure a residency position, and therefore practice clinically as a physician, it becomes clear that this is a riskier financial option. So is a Caribbean medical school right for you? For most students, I recommend delaying your application by a year and strengthening your application in order to apply to stateside osteopathic or even allopathic medical schools. Students are often surprised by how much they can strengthen their application in just one year. For other students who may not have the patience to strengthen their app or because of other factors limiting them, Caribbean medical schools may be their last option. Our team of top physician advisors have helped hundreds of students get accepted to US medical schools, and we can help you as well. From planning out your next year to helping you craft a masterful personal statement that gets you accepted, we've got you covered. And we're invested in your success. After all, we only win when you win. Visit medschoolinsiders.com to learn more. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you made it this far, you'll also enjoy our Instagram. Follow at KevinJubalMD and at MedSchoolInsiders. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in that next one.